To get started, open the file watersimulation.max. In the camera one of viewport, you see a close-up view of the bar faucet. In this section, you will learn how to create a realistic water flow from the faucet using Chaos Phoenix. This process involves setting up a water simulation, adjusting the parameters for realistic movement and rendering the final scene with lifelike materials. If you render the scene at this stage, you will get this result. First step is to prepare the faucet for animation. Select the faucet by clicking on it. Right click and choose Isolate Selection. Isolating the faucet makes it easier to focus on creating and adjusting the water flow without distractions from other elements in the scene. Switch to a perspective view and rotate the viewport to see the interior of the faucet where the water will flow. This ensures you are aware of the internal structure which is critical for placing the water source. With the faucet selected, go to the Modify panel, navigate to the Selection rollout and choose Edge. Enable edged faces in the viewport to make the faucet's edges visible. Now, click on the edge inside the faucet's opening. Use the loop command to select all connected edges. This step identifies the full perimeter of the faucet's opening. Click Create Shape from Selection, select Linear in the dialog box and press OK. This creates a shape to guide the water flow. Disable the Edge Selection in the Modify panel to exit the Edge Editing mode and continue modifying the object as a whole. Next step is to adjust the Shapes Pivot. Select the newly created shape, Shape 001, go to the Hierarchy tab and under Adjust Pivot, click Affect Pivot Only. Then click Center to Object. This centers the pivot for easier transformations. Disable the Affect Pivot Only mode. Now we will convert the shape to an editable poly. With the shape selected, add an Edit Poly modifier from the Modifier list. In the Utilities panel, click More, select UVW Remove and click Materials to clear the existing materials. Next, we will set up the water simulation. Go to the Phoenix FD toolbar, click Set up a tap water simulation for the selected objects. A wireframe box appears representing the simulation area. Exit Isolate mode and isolate the relevant objects Adjust the Phoenix FD Liquid 001 position to touch the sink base. Positioning the liquid source correctly ensures that water flows naturally into the source. Adjusting the Phoenix FD Liquid 001 position to touch the sink base. Positioning the liquid source correctly ensures that water flows naturally into the sink. In the Modify panel, go to the Grid Rollout and resize the grid to include the faucet. A larger grid accommodates splashes and ensures realistic behavior. Optimize performance by setting the scene scale to 1 and increasing the voxel size. Larger voxels speed up the simulation at the expense of detail. In the Dynamics rollout, set 10 steps per frame to refine the simulation's accuracy. Disable Show Particle Preview in the Preview rollout to reduce the GPU load.
Next, we will fine tune the simulation. Select the liquid icon, go to the outgoing velocity to control water pressure. For example, increasing velocity to 100 cm will make the flow stronger. Start the simulation by clicking Start in the simulation rollout or from the Phoenix FD toolbar. To make any changes, stop the simulation either by pressing the stop button at the Phoenix toolbar or the stop button in the simulation rollout. Additionally, make sure to click on the Delete the Phoenix Simulation Catch Files button. This step is important because it clears any previously generated simulation data, ensuring that your new simulation runs from scratch with the updated settings. Without deleting the catch files, 3ds Max may use old data, which can cause unexpected results or prevent changes from appearing correctly in your simulation. Select the liquid icon, change the velocity to 20 cm and start a new simulation. Next step is to apply a material to the water. Open the material editor by pressing M and create a Corona physical material or a V-Ray material. From the preset list, select water and apply it to the simulated liquid. Now we will render the final output. Shape 001 can be removed after the simulation, either delete it or hide it. This is because Shape 001 is only used as a reference or a helper object during the simulation setup. Once the simulation is complete, it no longer affects the final result. Choose a frame, let's say frame 60, and produce a render to view how the water looks. For a smoother appearance, go to Mesh Smoothing in the Rendering Rollout and set it to 2. Set an additional camera to see the interior of the sink for an alternative view and produce a render. Once you are satisfied with the result, you can put to render the full animation. So, in this lesson, you learned how to simulate a realistic water flow from a faucet using Chaos Phoenix. By isolating the faucet, defining the flow path, setting up the simulation parameters and applying appropriate materials, you created a photorealistic scene that captures the dynamic behavior of water. By experimenting with different settings, you can customize the simulation to fit various scenarios, expanding your skills in creating compelling animations for diverse projects.